Mid Day News is brought to you by Dogra Chemist. Get 15 to 60 percent discount on all medicines and surgical items. Visit Dogra Chemist, Airport Road, Jammu. The Jammu and Kashmir administration on Sunday announced the closure of all paid public parks till the further order to continue the spread of COVID-19 in the Union territory. The state executive committee also extended the night curfew from two hours within the municipal limits and the urban local body limits in all the 20 districts from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. instead of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. The Jammu and Kashmir on Sunday recorded the highest single day spike of 2,381 new COVID-19 cases, taking the tally to 1,60,755, while 21 fresh deaths in the past 24 hours took the toll to 2,147. Out of the fresh cases, 848 were from the Jammu Division and 1,533 from the Kashmir Division. The number of active cases has now reached to 19,558 in the Union Territory, while 1,39,050 patients have recovered so far. The second wave of COVID-19 infections has shaken the country and is testing the patients and the limits of the people, but the government is utilizing its entire might to give the fill-up to efforts of the state government to overcome the crisis and beat back the disease, PM Narendra Modi said on Sunday. In the monthly Man Ki Baat video address, the PM acknowledged the variants and the spread of the current wave. With 3,52,991 people testing positive for the coronavirus infections in a day the highest so far, India's total tally of the COVID-19 cases has climbed to 1 crore 73,13,163, while the active cases has crossed the 28 lakh mark. The death toll has increased to 1,95,123 with a record of 2,812 new fatalities. <music> Jammu and Kashmir government on Sunday approved the grant of special move TA of Rs 25,000 to all Darbar move employees irrespective of the actual movement as a special case this year in the wake of the deadly COVID-19. The announcement was made through the official Twitter handle of the office of the JNK Lieutenant Governor. Division Commissioner Jammu Dr. Raghav Langa on Sunday visited the district hospital Samba and inspected the functioning of the COVID control room and progress on the upcoming oxygen generation plant. While reviewing the functioning of the control room, he hung, he ran up of the COVID patients kept in the oscillations through the landline and inquired about their well-being and the medical support being provided on the on-field surveillance team, including the monitoring of oxygen level and the body temperature. The government has made it mandatory for 18 to 44 age group to register themselves on the COVID portal and get an appointment for vaccination against the coronavirus, saying walk-ins will not be allowed initially to avoid the kiosks and the immunization centers once the inoculation drive opens up substantially. However, those aged of 45 years and above have still availed the facility of on-site registration to get vaccinated. Amidst an unprecedented surge in the coronavirus cases in the country, the government has decided to allow everyone above 18 years of age to get vaccination from May 1st. In a bid to make the oxygen available to more people, the centre on Sunday barred the use of liquid oxygen for any non-medical purpose and asked the manufacturing units to maximise its production and make it available to the government for the medical use. The order by the Union Home Secretary Ajay Bhalla came amidst the scarcity of the medical oxygen in many parts of the country, particularly in Delhi, that have been hit by a fresh wave of coronavirus pandemic. 